Welcome back everyone for the first challenge video that we have for Season 2 content in the Night Call mission in Hawks Bay. This one will cover like fish in a barrel, smells like nail polish, sugar honey honey, contained explosion, someone could hurt themselves, Tasteless Traceless Would You Believe It Don't Tread On Me and Under The Mat For this one let's just take a silenced pistol and both of the lethal poisons that we have unlocked up to this point. The first one should have been had by getting all the mastery on Paris, and the second lethal pill bottle should have been had by getting Silent Assassin suit only times five. So let's get started right out of the cutscene and start running up the beach. At the location. No hostile presence. Understood. Right outside a fallen down hut, there should be the piece of driftwood that we need for the Would You Believe It challenge. Most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Go ahead and follow the prompts on the screen just to get rid of them. Once we grab the driftwood, the challenge will pop. Now let's run up towards the pool house. Good aim. Now. And right inside here, up against the wall, there's a little base on the ground. We can go ahead and shoot that, and there's an extra house key in there. And that will get us the under the mat challenge. Right when we get inside, let's go ahead and poison both of the ingredients that she might use in her tea, the sugar and the honey. It's random whichever one she picks, this way that will ensure that we poison her no matter what. Now we can head up to the bathroom and there's a squeaky toy on the ground. We pick that up and that will get us the don't tread on me challenge. Now we want to get into that cabinet for another lethal poison. Let's go ahead over into the office. We'll tilt the painting here and then we'll get us into the secret panic room. Shoot the camera box, grab the USB dongle and the lockpick. Now we can head back over into the bathroom now that we have the lockpick and get into that cabinet for the lethal poison. Now once we have that, let's go ahead and go back to the office and interact with the computer. That will play a cutscene and everybody will show up right when that's done. Once they do, let's go ahead and go back into the panic room and head downstairs towards the garage. Open the secret door. And right around the corner in the hallway here is a propane tank. Let's grab that, and once we're over to this door, let's go ahead and make a save. Once she's facing this way after she puts the key on the table, go ahead and open the door and stand up. Let her almost see you all the way. Close the door and toss the propane tank and wait for her to walk in here. Once she does, go ahead and shoot that to blow her up. That will get us the Someone Could Hurt Themselves and Contained Explosion Challenges. Got nothing. Once we know we have those, we can go ahead and load up our save.
Make sure to keep the propane tank and let's go head upstairs now. And once we're on the stairs going up to the roof, let's toss the propane tank and shoot that. That will trigger her lockdown and get her to go to the safe room. And the ventilation system for the safe room is right over here, so once she gets in there, we'll use the lethal poison that we got out of the cabinet to poison her while she's in there. Orson usually makes it up there in time too, so you'll end up killing him also. But once she's dead from the poison, that will get us the smells like nail polish, tasteless traceless, and like fish in a barrel challenges. Now we can go ahead and load up our save. Now this time it's going to be a long wait until she takes a drink of the tea that Orson makes her. So we'll just start running towards the exit and get set up for that. Now once we get into this patch of weeds, let's just go ahead and hang out right here for a while. Just waiting on her to drink her tea, so we'll go ahead and fast forward until she's about to do that. Once she finally drinks the tea, that will get us the sugar honey honey challenge. Now we can follow the rest of the steps for the exit, shoot the gas canister that's in the back of that truck. Now we'll blow that up and distract all of the guys away from the boat. And now we can head down to the newly opened up exit. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, requests, or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you liked this video and found this video helpful, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content that I produce and want to keep up with any future videos or projects that I'm working on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.